Hello, everybody, and welcome back once more to Anime Yay or Nay. I am the Outback Owl. I'm Yen and Young. I'm Chibi Noob. I'm Envy Jitters. I'm Jaren Cosplay. And I'm Cozy. And we're back once more with our weird romance stuff no, I, that we're watching. I think this we need even to call a, it. This is not a romance. Not really. <laughs> yeah. The loosest definition. I mean, there's a romance subplot in it, but it's not the main focus. So, Bludgeoning Angel Dokuro-chan is what we watched this week. Who recommended this? The beetle, 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 beetle bee. For those of you who can't see, hear that's... that in my nightmares. For those of you who can't see, that was Cece who recommended this. So, before we get started, I just want to, I just need, just, this is just a general, um, thing. Uh, I just want to take a vote real quick. Uh, who says that Cece's, uh, recommendation privileges are revoked? <laughs> <laughs> yay, nay, yay. Yay, yay. We have two yays. Anyone else? Um, I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not. I've recommended some stuff that people didn't like before, so I'm not gonna That's be an a I mean, I am. I am just a tough audience, so I don't count. <laughs> abstain. All right. Yeah, I, I, I'm abstaining. I'm not. Uh, How about you? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna put it as probably yay. Okay, three yays, two <laughs> abstain. It, motion carries. Uh, CC, you're not allowed to recommend shit anymore. Um, <laughs> again, I, I just want to say, at least y'all don't gotta live with her. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> she was my roommate for a year in college, so technically I did. Yeah, I, same. Actually, also roommate for three years in college. Two yeah, years. Yeah, two years. years. That... That was around when CC was getting into anime. Yeah, wonderful. And also, Explains I can, a lot. Great. And honestly, c considering some of the stuff that I know that you watched in college, I'm not really surprised that this was something that you recommended. <laughs> I would say, like, I don't really watch that much anime outside of the podcast anymore. No, so no, no, no. I think no. I'm not even talking about anime. College. I'm not talking about the anime. Oh, I watched some garbage outside of anime. Yes, you did. <laughs> yep. Still do. Actively so, do. If if you at home couldn't kind of tell where this episode's going to be leaning, uh, you should by now. <laughs> so what did... Who... I'm assuming only one of us has seen this before, and they were the one who recommended this. Yeah. Fair to say? I've, I've seen out-of-context clip of one of the many times the main girl bludgeons the guy's head off and it bleeds a fountain of blood mm -hmm. and then she repairs him. That was like a random out of context anime clip I saw in a compilation one time. So well, well, Envy, I gotta tell you, you just did the whole section of what the plot is for us, so thank you for that. Yeah. You're welcome. That's it. So, That's the whole fucking plot. <laughs> yeah. The, I actually, I knew the theme song before I ever saw this because someone did like a Vocaloid animatic using that song with like the little animations, but instead of like Dokuro-chan, they had Miku, and instead of like the fledgening thing, whatever that thing is called. A um, bat with a bunch it of was spikes. the leak. Excalibur. Yeah, they did it with the leak, and it was literally just Miku singing the song. And I was like, ah! <laughs> and now that I've seen this, I'm like, oh my god. This all makes... A lot that that little animatic made a lot more sense now, but um, ew, I only got through about four minutes of this show. Four minutes. Damn. Well, then you've seen yeah. the whole show. Congrats. Yeah, you pretty much seen the whole show. I'm like, I've I've seen enough. <laughs> I had to get through. I I couldn't get through the last two. I got through the first, I guess, season or whatever you call it, the first four episodes, and I was like, yeah, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I mean. I, I I am so sorry, but this was the worst anime I've ever seen. Like, <laughs> okay, I'm wow. sure there's worse anime That's a out bold there. Statement, but well, I think again, I know there's worse anime out there. I just haven't so seen. So it was worse. So as far than, as this, what was what was that one with the really bad dub? MacGyver, no, whatever. Guyver's wing. Garzy's wing. Garzy's wing. Damn you, you must take Garuno Mikoto. Garzy's wing was fun as hell. <laughs> um. It's, so this show is, it's two OVAs, you said, right? It's, it's like... Yeah, four OVAs eight, and then two OVAs. Okay, it's eight episodes, like ten minute episodes. Yeah. But they're put together 
Yeah. So it's like mm-hmm. four 20 minutes, but it's each one is like. So wait, Envy, exactly how far did you get? Basically, the first four full episodes. So I guess the first eight. You watched the first season. Yeah. I didn't watch the second two episodes where they go for like guess fast forward into the future or something like that and they interact more with her and i put this in air quotes nine-year-old sister who has yeah i'm not even gonna go there i'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> she's as death from a comic a kill that's that's it true but nine sure. years old just remember yeah sure nine years sure. old also yeah. everyone in here is basically 12 so yeah jesus uh, fuck yeah you know, um, we did skip part of the plot. Uh, the angels are trying to kill this guy because he's like a future pedophile. FBI, open up! Let's be specific about how he's a pedophile, though. He invents the the key to eternal life that basically uh, women stop aging at 12 and then are immortal lollies. Okay, so are the men not immortal then? Oh, how I have no fucking them? clue. They all look pretty old to me. Yeah. So and just yeah, the women. And, and, yeah, it's, out, ju- it's just the women. Yeah. I want to point out we're only two years away from this, apparently. So <laughs> that's our yeah. future. I did not have that on my apocalypse bingo card, but well, you know, here's my here's here's my thing too. Here's one of the many many reasons why I don't like this show. Okay, in the future, that guy may be you know a creep and do that. Well, now that he knows, he will stop doing that. So basically, the entire time, this poor guy is getting messed up, is getting ridiculed he's getting you know literally killed multiple times and it's just a torture form that's all it is it's nothing but torture porn for this poor guy who's been who doesn't deserve it and the main angel quote unquote i like wendy lee as a voice actress but mother of fuck, did her voice get grading after a while i do especially not with like the that peter 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 or whatever you fucking say <laughs> Oh, pedo, is pedo, she pedo? pedo because he's a pedo? Maybe. Maybe. I don't think so. <laughs> I thought um, it was Piru. I think it is that's Piru. how it, they do the do it in the the song. Yeah. Well, I guess we should give Cece a moment to defend herself. Um, oh no, she's not gonna. No, uh, do you, I, like, I, can, no, I can talk not for a minute if you want to. Not deserved. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> you were the one that recommended it, so like maybe it. go over how you discovered the show and how you feel about it. Yeah, sure. So, while they were dragging me down into anime hell one summer, I was like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm going to watch all the things you said I should not watch because they're bad. So I watched, you know... Boku no Pico and High School of the Dead and Sword Art Online. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Time out. Time out. You actually looked up Boku no Pico and watched it. FBI, open up! This explains yeah. so much. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that continue. One, that one physically hurt. Okay, continue. That was the only one that was like, okay, yeah, all the hate's warranted. The other the other two is like... of the Dead isn't bad. It's I like bad. that one. It's- Okay. When you get past the gratuitous like fan service, it's actually not a bad like zombie B movie. Yeah, and like Sword Art Two, everybody's like, "Oh my god, it's horrendous!" And like, it's fine. I didn't love it's, it, but like, it's not. Terrible. I don't think it's as it, bad as everyone says for, it is. No, the first I, season's okay. So the thing is, for like that Sword Art Online would have been like a fine show, at least it for me. Like, if it weren't for just like a lot of the tangents we went on. I think that's the only thing that took away from it for me, but that's eh, my opinion. I did Go only on. watch the first season. Yeah, though, the so first I don't know season's good. I couldn't finish it. it. Or the first book or whatever. <laughs> it's everything that comes after. Yeah, I was like, this has some good ideas. It just doesn't follow through on any of them. And also, Kirito just sucks. If you want a really good version of Sword Art Online, I recommend Sword Art Online of Bridge. They give Kirito a personality. <laughs> <laughs> Sword Art Online of Bridge is goat tier. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. But anyway, continue, CC. Uh, so, yeah, I started looking up other, like, forbidden shows that you shouldn't watch. And this was up, and it was so goddamn annoying. But it was short. And so, so I'm like, longer. okay, I think uh, I think this is, like, an ironic, like, 
Like, I could get drunk and laugh at <laughs> yeah, this Yeah, it might one. be fun while drunk. Or high. Or drunk and high. Dude, if you get too high watching this, you're going to freak out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, they get some Blood really everywhere. graphic depths <laughs> in this. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think the, the one point I give it is that, um, like, they do call out the guy for being a pedophile. Like, all of, they, they announce the reason to kill him in front of all of his classmates, and all of them were like, ew, oh my god, you're a pedophile. <laughs> and, like, they continue to call him that for the rest of the show. So I'm like, okay, you're a little self-aware at least. Like, not enough to not do it, but... Can I throw out my theory? I don't think this is actually happening. I think the kid's dead and he's in hell. <laughs> that and makes this a lot more entire, sense. His entire existence is nothing but continuous, and quite frankly, for the most part, undeserved torture, because he hasn't actually done anything yet. Yeah. Yeah. We don't even know that he will do anything. We're just going off the word of... A bunch of sadistic sociopaths. Yeah, that claim to be angels from the future. Yeah, like, I mean, and if this is the standard of what an angel is, I mean, are we sure they're from heaven? Are we sure we want to go to heaven? <laughs> Not to get into a religious thing here, but if these are angels, like, I'll take hell. Uh, Which this guy were probably is supposed isn't. to be punishers, I think. And like, that's a fair point. But at the same time, it's like, he hasn't done anything yet. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, uh, yeah, well, sure. I maybe mean, he's guilt. Okay, maybe okay, he's okay. guilty. No, 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 no. Let Let's actually run this situation. If we okay. had a way to go back in time, would you kill child Hitler? Oh God, he this is the one that always yet. comes up. Maybe I'd get him into art school. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that would have been. Everyone's always like, you gotta kill someone to make something. How about you just treat people better? I don't know. I would kill child Hitler. Here's the thing. What about the scenario where you go back in time, tell Hitler what's going to happen, and then maybe he just doesn't do it? What makes you think he wouldn't do it? Okay, if we're going with the scenario in the show that we just watched, the guy literally says, I will do whatever it takes to not invent whatever you guys think I've invented. Yeah, but but he's doing that to get them to leave him alone. What's the guarantee if they left him alone, he wouldn't do it anyways? And well, they're not just... leaving him alone at the end of the first season. He's like, no, 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 stay, Doku. I mean, why my confusing fuck? thing, what know. doesn't make that sense to me, me, is like, why don't these people kill him? Like, they're just chilling. Like, 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 Esdeth's just chilling with him, and Sabato's just chilling with him. Well, it's she's, like, she's living homeless, Weren't so. they supposed to be killing him? What yeah. happened? Yeah. I don't know. For some reason, the one Dokoro keeps bringing him back. I think she's under the impression that she can change the timeline by just making sure the guy doesn't study or something. Maybe that's a possibility. She's a a serial killer fangirl. She's the I can fix him. Yes, I was just about to say that. (laughs) I think Dokoro doing all this is what's going to help him discover immortality. Probably. The man's wrangled with death how many times now? Ultimately, this is probably... They did say he found it by accident. This is very likely a Terminator situation with bootstrap time travel theory where the Terminator sent a machine to kill the mother of John Connor. So the humans sent back Kyle Reese, who, yeah, impregnated Sarah Connor. So had the machines never sent something back, no John Connor ever would have been born. But it's all very, like, everything's solid and, like, that kind of spits in Dokoro's idea of the whole like i can change things no apparently you can't change things because if this is what it is then it's always will be until we get to terminator genesis and then they fuck it well no they fucked up a couple movies before that but they really fuck up in terminator so, genesis so the angels aren't necessarily mad about the lowly shit right what they're mad is that he like he f- figured out immortality yeah, and that brings yeah, you too close to and god he's like defying yeah. god yeah yeah Hmm. Okay. Why would the man, by the end of this, not have a reason to be angry at angels and God? Yeah. Yeah, that is fair. Um, he, you said they, you create your own goes, worst enemy. He he goes with her to the future. I'm realizing I've only seen half of the show. They didn't go to the future. Oh. They didn't go no, to the future. To the no, future. they didn't go to the future. The the no, the other sister. two episodes of season two are the, them fucking around. Yeah, they're just. And then, I want to be. I want to be clear. I want to be clear. They're not actually fucking around because I have to be careful about what I say with this show. But they're just like <laughs> putzing around doing uh, stupid shit. 
Okay, so it it did end with spoilers in case anybody wanted to actually watch this. The ending was like nothing. Valentine's they, Day. They think yeah. they got her kidnapped, taken her back, and then he goes home and she's like hiding in his closet. No, but, no, that's no, that was season, season one. one. That was okay. Cool. I did yeah. only see half yeah. of this. Wow. Yeah, that was all I saw too. You're and that's missing two episodes because throughout the entire uh, time, she's done nothing but harass, humiliate, bully literally kill him multiple times, but you gotta go through the old cliche of, oh no, I secretly miss him. I, I, mean, I secretly miss her. It's like, bullshit. I thought it would've been so funny. <laughs> I thought it would've been so, so great if at like the very end of the show when they have like that big moment where they're like, I'm gonna come save you, Dokuro-chan, and like he's chasing after her or something right before she's about to be taken back to the future and he stops them and they're like, what, what is it? Tell me, and he's like, I always hated you. Okay, take her. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that. Because, like, when you think about it, okay, sure, maybe in the future, in one timeline, he was a creep. But, like, in this current timeline that, you know, he's in, he's a simple middle school kid who likes, you know, manga, and he wants to ask out his crush. Yeah. And that's, fine. that's all he wants to do. <laughs> that's, that's, like, How do we know this isn't... He, how do we know this isn't going to work off of Meet the Robinsons logic? You told him what not to do, and now he just doesn't do it. I don't know. It's hard to say. There is no logic. There is no logic. I feel like this concept could maybe work as like an extreme dark comedy on like Adult Swim at like 2 a.m. If they had the right writers and they had the right jokes. I feel like they just didn't for this particular show i'm gonna be real with you with some of these episodes a slight tone shift you got a junji ito show <laughs> here they have I... some creepy fucking ways for this kid to die yeah i will give yeah. points like uh their art team was actually pretty good mm -hmm. like yeah, i was the, gonna say they art went with style? It. very good the baseline Passable. animation is pretty smooth although a little ugly but like Especially when they get so. into like the super stylized points. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the violent like, parts look pretty good. Mm. The the whole diarrhea thing, like that was Woof. really well done. They they someone got paid a lot of money to do that. To be well. clear for the podcast, <laughs> they did not animate diarrhea. No, but they animated like every possible face you could make when dealing with the 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 feelings of trying to contain diarrhea. Imagine that however you will. Now I'll probably put in a clip. They animated the vomit without pixelating it, though. Yeah, it was a they little weird. They usually do. Well, maybe it was because of the yeah, early 2000s. Yeah, but it 2000s. also just kind of looked like melted butter. I feel like because it was an OVA and it didn't air oh, on TV, they were allowed uh, to get away with it. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Because usually you have to censor that stuff out when you put it on TV, even if it is like a yeah. late at night show. Yeah. I will say this. I will give it this much, and it's not a lot, but it gave me a little bit of, like, morbid curiosity between episode to episode. Kind of like early seasons of South Park. You know Kenny's gonna die each episode, <laughs> but you are kind of being like, well, how are they gonna do it this time? That's really the only thing I can give this that much, because the joke, the only joke of the show, oh, pervert, you get punished runs very thin after a while. Oops, I didn't mean to, like, kill you, kill you. I'll bring you back to life. Yeah. This isn't that funny of a show. No. It's got a couple moments that'd be like, ah, oh, it got a bit of a chuckle out of me. Again, mostly morbid curiosity of like, well, how are they going to kill you this time? And sometimes they got creative with it. But, Turkey monster. Ugh. The only time I remotely chuckled was... When the nine-year-old sister first showed up and they got into that slap fight between her and her sister. Yeah, yeah, the towel thing. That's funny. Yeah, that was the only time I got a remote chuckle. I gotta be real with you. I think more anime characters should fight with towels. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys want to know what happened in the uh, the final two episodes? Yeah, it just sure. the I did not see these. It, it turns into a borderline hentai. Oh, oh yeah. wonderful. Uh, we're not like... Was it not already? 
Oh, it got yes. more oh, it so. got it got worse. Yeah, it got so much worse. <laughs> the sound of, I will give this the sound effects department clearly got paid extra for the second season. It's like they <laughs> spent a whole episode in the bathtub. Yup. Oh, you would have loved this. Uh, like a full CC. fifteen minute segment, or like yeah, a, 14 yeah. a whole minute. fifteen yeah, yeah. minutes. Yeah, whole half an episode is just them in a bathtub. Okay. You know, you can you can think you of whatever they're, they're doing what during happens. that. Happens, yeah. I will say that you you missed out, Cece. I know how you love mermaids, and as Death Ugh. dresses up like a naked mermaid in one of the episodes. What the nine year old? Maybe it's better that you don't see the nine year old like that, but yeah. I don't know. This is a fucked up show. It's really yeah. It's very obnoxious. Yeah. Still probably gonna cosplay it eventually. Mm. How they got Jun Young Bosch to do this? It's called a paycheck, dude. You do yeah. what you have to. So, uh, I need help taking out the trash, because Cece just said she wants to cosplay it. <laughs> Oof. I said this last week. You know, no one's gonna blame you. Well, I need help. Yeah, no, I'll be I there. Ju- I just it's need right. some heavy lifting. Yeah. <laughs> you, look, the trick is you lift from under the armpits. Okay? That's how you move Oof. a body. I like her design. I, mean, I like the little pigtail and <laughs> spiky bat. I mean, if you're willing to wait until one of the next conventions we go to, I'm sure their trash cans are big enough. Yeah. <laughs> Just find a dumpster. They're everywhere. That's fair. Uh, as long as it's not one of the colossals. Hmm. Mm, Good point. Their trash cans are not very big. Yeah. Uh, their trash cans are not very big, and they not very big, and they also have some trash people there too. So. Mm. I tried climbing yep. in one once, drunk. It did not end well. Apparently got up wait, like wait, 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 wait. You said there's trash people? You mean there's a trash man there? Money. Who eats garbage? I wish there I could be a trash, trash man like I that. I mean, man. that's the right kind of trash man, though. I'm talking about real fucking garbage humans, man. <laughs> oh. Do you mean people who would really, really, really like this show? <laughs> yes. I want to be clear. We're not disparaging you. If you like this show because you actually think it's funny, but we are disparaging you if you if you're liking the show for the other reasons, and we know and you know what reasons we're talking about. It's not funny though. It's really yeah, it's not. really not that funny. So maybe seek therapy. <laughs> so I don't know. Do we have any other things to say about this? We're you know this is much shorter than than uh, we normally go, but at the same time, isn't that a good thing? You know. Yeah. Was, uh, yeah. Final mm. thoughts? Uh, go around? Anyone? Okay. Nah. Anyone else? I only watched four minutes, but also nay. <laughs> I, I mean, you you dropped it after four minutes. That's that's a pretty hard nay. <laughs> I was going to say, give me my four minutes back. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that's four minutes I could have been reading American Gods, okay? <laughs> yeah. right. Good book. Good book. Um, yeah. yeah, nay. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, I try to give every show I go into a, a, a chance even if I know I might not like it, but yeah, uh, no, this uh, did not work for me. So it's uh, probably the biggest nay I've had on this podcast. Yeah, also a nay for me. I think the only caveat we can put to this is if you're like Cece, and, you know, you got a really weird taste and stuff, <laughs> this might be right up your alley. This is like so an ironic light yay for me. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, okay, that's I watched that's a good the idea. 2016. If we recall, 2016 was a very, very bad year for me. So I was kind of yeah, watching that's... garbage to make myself yeah. feel like a little bit less garbage. <laughs> yeah, fair. Fair. They shot Harambe. <laughs> People started watching Budgeting Angel Dokoro Chan. <laughs> Everything went downhill. Mm. In any case, uh, yeah, so. I hate to say it, all this might have made people want to watch it more. It's very <laughs> possible. It's not I have worth not it. <laughs> no. uh, it's not the room. It's not enjoyably bad. It's, uh... Yeah. Watch, watch the first four minutes and you've seen everything. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you Pretty what. Much. If you want a bad anime that's fun to watch, go watch Garzy's Wing. You certainly got sexy. That was a fun one. <laughs> no. Especially the dub. No. No, yeah, that was, was a fun It was not one. fun. 
It was fun. It was fun to make fun of. I, I, I agree with you. It's like a couple parts were fun and the rest was dead boring. Okay, yeah. It, 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 it it's like I prefer just a compilation on YouTube that was like seven minutes long <laughs> of Honest, the funny parts. Yeah, I got I'm going to just yes. be honest. Just go watch Ghost Stories. Oh, yeah. Ghost, Ghost Stories. Ghost. Well, here's the thing. Go, I thought we were talking about, I thought we were talking about like so bad it's good. Ghost Stories is just good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do you de- how do you define if they meant it to be so bad it's good that it makes it good? Is that, is that no? What I don't think they to? meant it to be so bad it's good. They wanted it to be funny, and it was. No, but actually, go watch that's, something that's, that's funny. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go watch anyway. Speed Racer. <laughs> Oh yes! There there you go. It racer. all turns back to speed racer. <laughs> yeah, so much better than you think. <laughs> anyway, let's 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 stop with this this this. Uh, so you know, we've seen what have we seen? We've seen um, a number of bizarre, air quotes, romances. If we're going to include this one somehow, but this was a this was a ugh, one. So let's watch a good one next week. What do you guys say? Let's let's finish strong. Let's watch Toradora. You guys seen Toradora? No. Oh. Yes. Actually, I watched it the other week because I accidentally okay. watched it instead of something else. Well, I'm sure you had a much better time, and so will you guys uh, next week. Come join us. Bye bye. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and if you haven't already, check out some of our previous episodes, our daily gaming videos, or our parody series, Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time!